Hello and welcome to another quick fix. Today we're going to look at how to convert a Sony PS2 network adapter from Parta to SATA. Why would you want to do this? Well, Parta or IDE are old school hard drives. Their storage capacity maxes out around about 500 gig and the write and read speeds are between 5 to 135 megabytes per second where SATA free drives currently have a max capacity of around 23 terabytes and if you get an SSD read and write speeds can be up to 550 megabytes per second. This can be especially beneficial when playing games that are data heavy as conventional hard drives tend to lag. So all the tools you'll need for this one are uh, two Phillips screwdrivers, one small, one large and a T8 Torx screwdriver. Firstly we want to take out the four large screws around the edge of the uh, device and then two smaller screws near the PS2 adapter connector port. Remove the outer casing and you'll see three circuit boards. Unscrew the Molex and IDE connectors with the T8 Torx screwdriver. Remove the ribbon cable and the power connector and place them to the side. You can use the original power connector as it's the same as the old one, but the ribbon cable that comes with the new SATA ports is slightly different, so make sure you use that. Insert the ribbon cable and the power cable into the original PS2 adapter PCB and then into the new Bitfix PCB with the SART ports on it. Now you need to place the two plastic skirts on the metal back plate in line with the screw holes, put the circuit board on top and screw the board down to the plate. This can be a little tricky due to the alignment of the plates and the screws. Just tuck the power cables away so that the case will close properly. Once complete, you're ready to put the adapter back together. Screw the four screw large screws and the two small screws back into place.
Well, I'll check out my moves. Come on. Oh, how you doing? Remember, pick scenario, we keep the freezer. Let's dance. Pink pop, okay. Let's go. In a bit of rage. Oh. As you can see here, I'm playing uh, Dragon Ball Z Budokai Tenkaichi 3. Um, an SSD really gives you a perfect gaming experience. I've tried this with hard drives, and they tend to freeze for a second every 20 seconds. The read and write speeds on those drives just aren't uh, quick enough to keep up with the data-heavy data game. Thanks for watching. If you like the content, like, subscribe, and turn on notifications for more PS2 content.